Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about something that sounds like it has come straight out of a science fiction movie. The US Army has officially received its first laser-armed squad vehicles. Yes, you heard that right, military vehicles equipped with real laser weapons, capable of shooting down enemy drones using beams of light. This new technology is part of the Army's multi-purpose high-energy laser program, also called AMP-HL. It represents one of the most futuristic steps in modern warfare. In this video I'll explain what these vehicles are, how the technology works, why it matters, and also the challenges it faces. So, let's dive in. On September 3rd, 2025, the U.S. Army received two prototype vehicles from a company called Aerovironment. These are not massive tanks or big armored vehicles but lightweight infantry squad vehicles also known as ISVs. They look like fast mobile buggies that can carry nine soldiers and can be easily transported by aircraft or even helicopters. But the unique thing here is that they are not just troop carriers anymore. Mounted on top of them is a 20 kilowatt class laser weapon system called Locust. This system can detect, track, and destroy drones and small aerial threats using concentrated beams of energy. That's why people are calling them laser armed squad vehicles. Now the question is why is this important? The answer is drones. In modern warfare drones are one of the biggest threats. They are cheap to build, easy to deploy, and can be used for surveillance or even to drop bombs. Traditional air defense systems like missiles are effective, but they are also very expensive. Imagine shooting down a $2,000 drone with a $200,000 missile. It doesn't make economic sense. Lasers, on the other hand, can fire almost endlessly as long as they have power, and the cost per shot is extremely low. This makes them a perfect tool to counter the rising drone threat on today's battlefields. These laser systems were first assembled in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then tested at Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona. The tests focused on mobility, lethality, power management, and safety. After proving that the system actually works in tough desert conditions, the vehicles were sent to Fort Sill, Oklahoma, where soldiers are now being trained to use them in real operations. This shows that the U.S. Army is not just experimenting in labs anymore. They are moving laser weapons from concept to actual field use. This is a major step forward compared to just a few years ago when laser defense systems were seen as futuristic experiments. Let's understand how the laser actually works. The locust laser on these vehicles is a high energy beam around 20 kilowatts in power. When a drone is detected, the system locks onto the target and fires a concentrated beam of light. Within seconds, the energy either burns through the drone's body or fries its electronics, making it crash. Unlike traditional weapons, there is no loud explosion, no smoke trail, and no recoil. It is silent, precise, and invisible to the naked eye. Soldiers describe it as almost like using a magnifying glass to burn paper, but on a much larger and more powerful scale. Interestingly, the U.S. is not the only country working on this. The United Kingdom is developing its Dragonfire laser system, and countries like China, Russia, and Israel are also investing heavily in directed energy weapons. Why? Because lasers offer huge advantages. They are incredibly fast, light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second, so there is no way a drone can dodge it. They are silent, which means the enemy might not even know where the attack came from. And most importantly, they are scalable. As long as you have enough electricity, you can keep firing without worrying about running out of ammunition. So what does this mean for the U.S. Army on the ground? These laser-armed squad vehicles can protect small infantry units, convoys, and forward bases from drones without needing heavy equipment or missile batteries. They can be deployed quickly, moved easily, and offer constant protection. For the soldiers, this means safety from the skies at a fraction of the cost. And because lasers don't leave behind blast marks or visible trails, they add an element of stealth to the defense. In short, it's a smart, cost-effective, and mobile shield against one of the fastest-growing threats in warfare. But of course, lasers are not a perfect solution yet. They require a lot of power, which means the vehicles must carry heavy power systems to keep the laser running. Weather is also a problem. Fog, rain, or dust in the air can weaken or scatter the beam, reducing its effectiveness. Continuous use also generates a lot of heat, which needs to be managed to prevent damage to the system. These challenges are being worked on, but they show that while the technology is promising, it still has practical limitations. To conclude, in September 2025, the U.S. Army officially took delivery of its first laser-armed squad vehicles under the AMP-HEL program. These lightweight infantry squad vehicles fitted with the Locust laser system mark a historic step in military technology. They are designed to counter drones efficiently, cheaply, and with futuristic precision. While challenges remain, 
The arrival of these systems shows that laser weapons are no longer just experiments. They are slowly becoming a reality on the battlefield. This could change the future of warfare forever.